Boy, do I have a quick video for you. Uh, I don't have a sand pun to go with that, though. Quicksand! It's a classic trope of adventure stories all the way from pulp magazines of decades ago to modern kids' cartoons. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but for all the quicksand encounters I've seen in TV and movies, I have yet to experience it in D&D. So I wrote a fun quicksand encounter for 5e that we are going to break down together so you can tweak it for your own games. Because I'm Bob, this is where we learn how to have more fun playing D&D together, and this is Quicksand. The player character with the lowest passive perception drops knee-deep into a leaf-covered pit of stinking muck. Roll initiative. In three rounds, the character is submerged and suffocating. Any player character can use their action to make a DC 15 strength athletics check, saving the sinking player character on a success. Any three characters working together automatically succeed. That's it. Super concise because it came straight out of my October Patreon one-shot adventure, The Howling in the Wood. And concise is the main design theme behind all of my Patreon one-shots, but specifically, it comes from a random table of creepy forest encounters. That's why it starts kind of abruptly with the player character with the lowest passive perception drops knee-deep into a leaf-covered pit of stinking muck. Using lowest or highest passive perception is one of my favorite tricks, because if you just have everyone roll a perception check or a deck save and they all make it or don't make it, depending on which way you wanted it to go, then maybe nothing happens, but all the players know something was supposed to happen. And in this case, it's really unlikely that a PC would actually die during this encounter, so I think it's totally fine to just say, hey, you're objectively the worst at perceiving your surroundings, so you fall knee-deep into this naturally camouflaged pit. Roll initiative, you're sinking. And isn't that exciting? The party might make some quick jokes at the unobservant sinking character's expense, but they don't know exactly how fast that PC is sinking or how deep the pit is, and all that uncertainty, combined with the phrase roll initiative, should create a sense of urgency in your players. So they'll start scrambling to solve this problem. And now, you could be like Runehammer or Professor DM and roll a timer die right in front of them. 1d4 rounds until they sink beneath the muck. That's really exciting for everyone at the table, but if you want to have a little more control over the encounter, just use what I wrote. In three rounds, the character is submerged and suffocating. But if you don't share that info right away, most likely one of the players will use their first turn trying to determine how quickly the PC is sinking. So don't feel like you need to withhold that information. For most players, watching that timer tick down is going to be more exciting than having a vague time limit. Then, for actually rescuing the character, any player character can use their action to make a DC 15 strength athletics check, saving the sinking player character on a success. Any three characters working together automatically succeed. Now, DC 15 is a moderate challenge for the lowish level 5e characters that I designed most of my Patreon one-shots for, and allowing three PCs to work together for a free success is just a nice way of providing an easy out for this problem that they were kind of forced into. But you should totally feel free to change that DC based on your party's level and your player's quick thinking. The most important part is to let them be creative with a solution. There are infinite ways for superhero 5e characters to pull something up, or hold something in place, or place something beneath the sinking character. The possibilities really are only limited by the player's imaginations. And if they do fail, that sinking PC is just submerged and suffocating which can take a long time in D&D 5e, so you could also try having the unobservant PC get completely submerged at the start of the encounter, but that is a little more risky. And in that case, I definitely recommend letting them accidentally discover some kind of buried treasure at the bottom of the quicksand pit. Would you look at that smug fella? Okay, I wanted to keep this video super short, but I realized while editing here that I should really provide some alternative designs so we can compare and contrast. For example, you could turn Quicksand into a full-on minigame where the sinking character starts waist deep to account for different height characters, and at the end of each of their turns, they sink three feet, but each successful athletics check pulls them up one foot, so the party is in a literal tug of war with the Quicksand. But that's kind of a lot of tracking, so you could also run a more classic skill challenge similar to 5e death saving throws, where in this case, the party would need three successes on that DC 15 group athletics check before they get three failures. Clever uses of spells or other features could add a plus one bonus to the group's result, and you wouldn't need initiative for this version. After three failures, the character gets stuck neck deep and buoyant, so they would be stuck there and just need to be dug out by the rest of the party. And I think there should still be treasure at the bottom, but let me know what you think in the comments. So, 
If you like this quick quicksand encounter idea, remember to give this video a thumbs up, check out this video that the almighty YouTube algorithm has determined is the best one for you, and consider joining my Patreon. For just $4, you can practically steal all the 20 plus 5e one-shot adventures I have published with best-selling DMs Guild authors and even a couple of my favorite writers from Wizards of the Coast. So thank you for your support on Patreon and here on YouTube, and keep building.